again, Pokey people. Lovely to see you. So today we're having a pack battle with Mudkapow, who actually reached out to me quite some time ago asking if I'd be interested in a pack battle and um, just finally getting around to it. Sorry about that, Mudkapow. It's, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> and, um, well, I don't really have any Mudkips except for this, this one back here. It's a very sleepy Mudkip, but this will be representing Mudkapow today because I seem to always have some sort of plushier figure around for my opponents and it just seemed appropriate. So today we're doing a viewer's choice pack battle using, ta-da, Hikario Kurao, Kurao Yami, there we go, light consuming darkness, and Tatakal Nijio Mitaka, did you see the fighting rainbow? Three packs of each. The reason for this is Mudkapow is actually opening one of the special collection boxes from the Pokemon Center. Um, it is an older one, but it's a fabulous one, so make sure, absolutely, check out their link down below, go see Mudkapow's video so you can see that beautiful box, and I'm not going to tell you which one it is, that you have to go see it because it is an awesome box. I, I have opened one myself. It's a very nice box. I love that box. I want another one of that box. Anyways, <laughs> the box only comes with three packs of each of these two sets, which were new-ish at the time. They're usually kind of one set behind with the collection boxes. So we decided we'd use these ones, and we're doing viewer's choice. Um, initially we were actually thinking of trying to do like a looking for lovely ladies pack battle, but um, because we only have three packs of each set, the odds of us getting one of the ladies in either set is pretty slim, and if that's the deciding factor of winning, it's not really fair to either of us. So viewer's choice, I'm rambling on and on and waving these things around all over the place. Let's start opening them up. And do make sure you go watch Monica Pau's video so that you can let us know who you think was the winner. It's been quite some time since I opened these. Now I believe Hikario Kuraoyami. Um, I, I'm just really determined to say the Japanese names for some reason today. I believe it has Plumeria in it. And did you see the fighting radio has Wick? No. Yaku. Um, like in Swimming Darkness has Wick, or Wiki, however you pronounce it, and did you see the Fighting Rainbow has Plumeria? I might have that backwards. That's an Alolan Raticate. <laughs> I'm just talking a lot today. Um, I always get Pampoor and Simipoor backwards. I know one comes before the other. Almorlo. Hey, Caterpie! I still love this art. Boom. It's Sekio, one of my favorites. I actually need to get a binder just for artists, specific ones. And... <laughs> what? It's because I said the words lovely ladies, isn't it? Oh goodness, where are my sleeves? I put them out of my reach. The struggle is real. Oh no, I just dumped my sleeves all over the floor. <laughs> That's okay, this one is still looking pretty decent. I'll have to tidy that up after. Full Art Galissapod! I can't believe it! This is actually my second Full Art Galissapod. Not that I'm complaining, I'm very, very happy to see this one, but wow! First pack magic! Sorry, little mud kapow. <laughs> um, well, let's keep doing Light Consuming Darkness first then, because we probably aren't going to get anything better than that. Pretty sure these all came from one box, but who knows? Anything is possible. Um, I feel like I was saying something, and now I don't know what it was. But that's okay, because this is a super scoop up. And we got a crow gunk. Um, it's one of the crocheted ones, too. Very cute. A Lolan Ratata. Hey, and a Raichu. Not an Alolan Raichu, but that's okay. Um, I don't want to cover up Glissopod, so we'll just put that down there. In front of Galissapod, but not in front in front of Galissapod, so you can still see Galissapod. Because I like Galissapod. I also just like saying Galissapod. <laughs> I was really determined for a while there when Isopod Hour was a thing to make Galissapod Hour into a thing, but it just wasn't working. I still really like my Galissapod plushie and taking pictures of it though, because it's so cute! Uh, so Viper! Koi King! Otherwise known as Magikarp. I just love the Japanese name for it. Koi King! Um, Duskull! Ralts and Tangrowth. Such a cool looking Pokemon. I am very excited to be able to get ones like that in Pokemon Go. I can't wait. All right. Did you see the fighting rainbow? So this also has the potential for some pretty amazing things in it, like Ho-Ho's, which I just like saying weird, and Charizard, and I'm pretty sure Guzma. 
or maybe not. Maybe Kiawei? It makes more sense for Kiawei, otherwise known as Kaki in Japanese, to be in this set because he has a Charizard, right? I don't know, just thinking out loud. Um, Pasimian, right? The other one's a Rangaroo, I believe. And there's a Lucario cameo. Hi, buddy. We've got a Amigurumi crocheted Marl. Uh, ba da Lolin Grimer. No, I forgot about this. I blocked it out. It's so painful. It's almost as bad as the Cubone one. It's just so sad. Oh, okay, Plumeria's in this set, which means Wiki's in the other one. There we go. We clarified it right there. She's not on my list of lovely ladies because she's not a very expensive single card. But maybe I will add her because, as you may know from the last Lovely Ladies video, I've gotten two out of the four I was looking for. And if you haven't seen it, you should, but maybe don't watch it with headphones because I think my voice hit like a pretty high pitch there. It does that sometimes. Uh, Rebombi, Buffalant, um, Venipede, I think, Oddish, hey, and we got a Vile Plume. Nice. I like Vile Plume. Maybe that's just because it looks like a corpse flower. Um, pretty sure they are actually called corpse flowers. If you've never heard of it, it is a flower that looks exactly like the top of Vile Plume's head. It is massive, like bigger than a dinner plate. These things are huge. It's like a giant singular flower, and it's called a corpse flower because it gives off the scent of a rotting body. Which is a really weird thing for a flower to do, but apparently insects like it, and that's how it fertilizes. Not fertilizes. Um, and I'm gonna... Oh, goodness. I forgot what the word is. The thing that bees do, the pollinating, and the, they, 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 they take the stuff. You know. You know what I'm talking about. Noctile knows what I'm talking about. He, he went to science class. I don't know if I went to science class, because clearly I'm forgetting my words. Is pollinate the word I'm looking for? Maybe. I don't know. This is a charmeleon. <laughs> This is a cutie fly. This is also the last pack, by the way. Dewpiter and some dumbbells. Well, um, for the recap there, <laughs> I mean, what a recap it is. For three packs, we got two hollows, vile plume, and Raichu. Both very awesome. But of course, my favorite card of the day, Golisopod. It's just so cute. I love it. I know it's a weird one to think is cute, but it's weird that people think isopods are cute too, and it's basically a giant isopod, which is why it's giant cute. Because that's how you use giant correctly now. I don't know what adjectives are. Well, thank you very, very much for watching, and thank you to Mudkapow, represented by this Mudkip. Although Mudkapow is, you know, a superhero looking Mudkip, but you, you know, I'm sorry you were asleep for that, buddy. That was a pretty cool pull we got. <laughs> but thank you very much to Mudkapow for inviting me to do a battle with you. I hope your pulls were just as fantastic or better. And even if they weren't, it's going to be a pretty sweet box one way or the other. Make sure, jump down there. There's going to be a link. Down, down there. There. Somewhere. Here. I'm way too hyper today. <laughs> But please go check the link out, watch Mud Kapow's video, and let us know down in the comments who you believe was the winner of this battle. And, you know, just say hi to them, because they're Canadian too, so you got two Canadians. Yay! Although one of us is in the Great White North and the other is not, but that's okay. It's the maple syrup that runs in our veins that counts. Anyway, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you again very, 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 very soon in the next one. Bye-bye!